In recent years, Paseo Nuevo Mall has been plagued by vacancies and delayed repairs, but soon it could be housing. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Santa Barbara, where City Council recently voted on plans to move forward with a renovation of this outdoor mall. The people of Santa Barbara are mostly in agreement that something needs to be done with the Paseo Nuevo Mall. What that is and how to do it is another story. Last week, the City Council voted to move forward with plans to redevelop the property. We are unanimous. Thank you very much. Well done. At the center of the development are plans for housing, approximately 500 units. How many of those will be offered at below market rates is the big question, a point that Santa Barbara local Brian Miller doesn't agree with. Santa Barbara, because it is a tourist destination, it's a city that people come to, unlike other communities, it's always going to be expensive, it's always going to be difficult to afford here, and it's only going to become a place of a lot of housing, it's still going to be expensive. The minimum amount of affordable units required by the state for this type of development is 10 percent, a number that Rob Fredericks with Santa Barbara Housing Authority wants to triple. I'm envisioning something like 30 to 40 percent of the units uh, being uh, affordable uh, to low-income and moderate-income households. Frederick stressed that not including a large amount of affordable units would further harm the working class and local business. Paseo Nuevo business owner Anna Cardenas says something needs to be done. It's also been hard without the strongholds like Nordstrom and Macy's. There's less foot traffic, I think, not as many locals coming through the mall. The mall's 42-year lease is held by Alliance Bernstein, who's partnering with Georgetown Company for the redevelopment of the mall. In addition to the housing, plans for redevelopment include 85,000 square feet of retail space. The developer and the city have not said how many units will be leased at below market rates, or how tall additional construction will be, and where specifically the units will go. If you have a news tip or a story you'd like to share, feel free to call email or scan the QR code on your screen. In Santa Barbara, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.